Hi all. Being a veterinarian, we love animals and it is our duty and passion to treat ailing animals. For any clinician, the first sign for diagnosis, first clue for the diagnosis is clinical signs. Interestingly, different infectious organisms exhibit different clinical signs in the animals. But sometimes, same organism may exhibit different clinical signs. This is an interesting thing. And today, we are going to learn about two clinical signs caused by a single organism, the Campylobacter. The clinical signs are reproductive form, which causes infertility, early embryonic death, and abortion. And another one is enteric form which was diarrhea. So let us see the different aspects of the Campylobacter infection in animals. This is the Campylobacter organism. You can see gram negative rods which are curved in shape. Campylobacter itself means curved rods. This shape is otherwise known as a single shape. And this is a normally inhabitant in the gastrointestinal tract of many domestic animals and fowls. So, as I told, there are two forms. One is enteritis form, which causes diarrhea, and the other one is endometritis form, which causes abortion. So, organisms for this one, diseases of these two forms are maybe different. And for the enteritis and diarrhea in livestock, the mainly caused by Campylobacter jejuni and Campylobacter coli. In case of companion and pets, it is Campylobacter absaliensis and Campylobacter helveticus. In case of pigs, it is Campylobacter coli and Campylobacter mucosalis. For abortion, endometrius and abortion, it may affect many animal species, including sheep and cattle. In sheep and cattle, the main organism is Campylobacter fetus, subspecies fetus. And in case of cattle, the other species is Campylobacter fetus subspecies veneralis. So first we will see about this enteric form. In this enteric form, this is transmission is mainly through the fecal oral route. So from the oral route, it get into the stom to the stomach and pass the acidic uh, barrier of the stomach and get into the intestine where it multiply and in the inside the stomach you can see it travels the epithelium transcellular migration or pedicellular migration or basolateral invasion and it get attacked by our own defense cells either neutrophils or macrophages and which will produce cytokines uh, causing a cytokine storm which will inversely affect adversely to adversely affect these epithelial cells causing apoptosis, ulceration, malabsorption, barrier defects, neutrophil invasion and sometimes bloody diarrhea. So there will be diarrhea, bloody diarrhea and again it will cause a source of contamination to other organisms, other animals. Clinical signs Sometimes there won't be any clinical sign and sometimes there will be watery to mucoid diarrhea. The diarrhea may after some time it recover but again relapse. Other than diarrhea there will be abdominal cramping or pain, there will be lethargy, sometimes there will be fever. And lesions you can see severe colitis or small enteritis, sometimes hemorrhagic ulceration occur, the mesenteric lymph nodes become edematous. And histologically, you can see the sloughing of epithelial cells, the bacteria can be present, and there will be ulceration. That's about enteric form. And let us say about the venereal form. In this venereal form, the transmission is mainly by natural surveys. From the natural from the bull, the infection gets into the cervix of this or general cervix of the cow. And other sources 
contaminated instruments used for artificial insemination and even the contaminated semen is also another source of infection. So pathogenesis. In pathogenesis, either with the natural service or with contaminated A equipment, an organism get into the uterus, first get into the cervix where it multiply, get into the uterus, cause endometritis, get into the oviduct, cause salpingitis. So in the oviduct salpingitis, the embryo may not be able to survive the, the reproducing early embryonic death. So animal will be coming to the heat after some time, after a little bit gap and there won't be any conception. Of course there will be any conception will be there but problem is that attachment will not occur, occur and embryo may that die in the early stages. And last finally it may cause sometimes if it is able to attach there can be abortion by infection of cotyledons. The clinical signs of mineral forms will be in case of cow. First, as I told earlier, there will be poor reproductive performance. There will be infertility will be there. That's because of early embryonic mortality. And if there is no embryonic mortality in the early stage, there can be abortion because of placenditis. Abortion usually occur by four to six months of pregnancy in cattle and last six weeks of pregnancy in ewes. But fortunately, it is a self-limiting disease. It's conceived within three to six months post-infection and immunity persists for several years in case of cattle. In case of bulls, the story is entirely different. The, it is asymptomatic and do not produce any clinical signs. The semen produced will be normal because the bacteria colonize only on the prepuce, not getting inside the testicle. It will be there only in the prepuce. Lesions in cow, there will be endometritis, salpingitis, placenditis in use, and placental fetal hepatic infarction. About 25% of cases, we may find the dead fetus. If you open the dead fetus, you may find infected liver. In case of bulls, as I told, as I told earlier, there won't be any lesion. Diagnosis of Campylobacteriosis Whether it is form or mineral form or bacteria, the golden standard for diagnosis is bacterial culture. We can go for bacterial culture or fluorescent antibody testing of propitial sheath of sheath washing in case of bulls. And in case of cows, we can go for vaginal culture that to immediately after abortion or infection. The culture is a little bit difficult. And other methods are ELISA or its agglutination test. The agglutination test is also known as vaginal mucosal agglutination technique. V ELISA is better than VMAT. The other one is PCR. And that's all about the diagnosis and treatment. Of course, we can go for antibiotic and all, but usually Management reduction is better. Treatment is not usually practiced. Management reduction like removal of this infected bull, going for artificial insemination instead of natural, natural service are the management reductions. So these are about this Campylobacter infections. Thank you all. Have a nice day.